So what we do is instead of shooting the LED light directly down, we actually couple the LEDs to this light guide and we inject the light horizontally into the light guide. And if you can see this closely over, <clears throat> over the space, the, uh, edge, uh, the scoring of this light guide changes in depth and distance as a function of how close it is to the source. Of so it's the, not just a tube, there's little obstacles inside of it that would actually shoot the light down. Correct. Okay. And the real key point is we, we have a, a scribing algorithm that we use to create perfect human uniformity across the entire surface of this fixture. Now, because we're able to create uniformity and distribute that light, uh, it becomes very, very soft light. And because it's soft, it allows us to do things that are unique in terms of the way we distribute the light into the space. So if you look at the rest of the optic, I've got a reflector on the back, mm -hmm. right? But I've also got a diffuser on the front. And so after I inject the light and create this perfect uniform distribution across this big surface, the mm -hmm. two by two surface, I then put a diffuser on top of the light guide and I intentionally distribute the light very, very broadly. So not only do I deliver the light to the work surface, which is what everybody wants to care about. Put around the candles, office, okay. But I want, to, I want to distribute the light high up into this space to create a feeling of volume and a perception of more brightness and more comfort, much more like natural daylight. Let's see it on, yeah, let's take sure. a look here. So if I fire this up, one thing I want to point out though, if you notice is uh, here I've got my power supply. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, and in here, LEDs are not using ballast. We're using a, we're actually using a power side supply. We're converting line voltage AC from the wall mm -hmm. into low voltage DC, and so what's coming out of here is low voltage 24 volts DC to drive <coughs> to drive a fixture. Now, uh, the way to think about this is really uh, to think about an analog to digital transition. So we're moving from the analog world of fluorescent mm -hmm. and incandescent light, and we're moving into digital light, which is LED. One of the wonderful things about anything digital is controllability. So every Lunera fixture that is shipped is enabled to be uh, controlled easily in the form of dimming. So dimming. So yeah, it's a, it's a light fixture. It comes with networking, so you so can have automatic dimming. Absolutely. You can have so daylight we can harvesting. Things, we can do something as simple as just putting a dimming switch on the wall and allowing people to adjust the level of light in the space for comfort, which, by the way, enhances uh, the uh, energy savings. Or we can interface into a very comp uh, complex and sophisticated building management system. And we do that through an interface that we use called the zero to 10 volt protocol. So one of the things I wanted to point out in, 